They bear no resemblance, they insist, to the Republic of Texas group that staged a West Texas standoff and kidnapping that ended in murder in 1997. But members of the group are still around, just up the road in the hill country. Paul Venema went to Kerrville for a first-hand look. Among the people who live in the hill country north of San Antonio is John Jarnicky, president of the Republic of Texas. We just coexist until we can get our independence back. The nation was officially created. He and his followers believe that Texas never legally became part of the United States and remains a separate nation. They've elected leaders, a flag, and even have their own currency. All right, there's about $200 worth and a somewhat cordial relationship with the local sheriff. I've never had any aggression type contacts. They've always been very nice and polite. Still, Kerr County Sheriff Rusty Heerholzer is concerned. He remembers that 1997 West Texas standoff. They can get extremely violent in those beliefs. They truly believe those things. There is contact with the group. International Common Law Court for the Republic of Texas. Evidence of that, volumes of lawsuits filed against the county and the state. It's just red tape, and it's just to clog the system up. The sheriff says all the litigation that the Republic files here is costly and time-consuming. He calls it paper terrorism. Jarnicky attributes the litigation to a small group of radicals in the Republic ranks. So we are about privacy. His focus is to work toward independence. Their latest tactic is to take their case to what he called the international courts. We're going the international route, the same as in the Baltic states. He's optimistic about making Texas a sovereign nation. I believe it is realistic, and I believe we can have it done within the next two years. Until then... I have to follow their laws, don't like them. I can respect different beliefs, but I think if you're going to live in the state of Texas or in the United States, that you should abide by the law. In Kerrville, Paul Venema, KSAT 12 News.